There. That's the last of them, little red tractor. And now, off back home for a spot of lunch. Where's Dan and Little Red Tractor then, Patch? Hmm, not telling, eh? Or maybe you can't tell. Perhaps they've gone on a secret mission and you've been told not to say anything. How exciting! Ooh. What are they doing? You can tell me. I won't snitch. Honest! Stan! Little Red Tractor! Where have you been? Was it a really big adventure? Oh, not really. It's something I do every year, bringing the straw in. Oh, but Pat said that... I mean, um, Mum asked if you'd like to come over to us for tea. We'd love to, wouldn't we, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> Just as soon as I've got these bales unloaded. By the way, where's Ryan today? Oh, he's gone for a run with Dad and Thomas. I didn't fancy it much. Not surprised. Here, we'd better take some straw for your mum. What for? Aha, uh -huh. she'll tell you. Come on, you two, or the ghost of Tawny Arnwood will catch you up. Ghost? What ghost? There's an old folk tale says there's a ghost in Tawny Arnwood supposed to guard the Tree of Life. Tree of Life? What's that? There, over there. When the moon shines its light on the leaves of that tree, gather them up quickly, cos they've got the power to stop you growing old. But you've got to be quick or the ghost will get you. At least that's how the story goes. Come on, quick, before it spots us. A ghost? Wow! So that's why Stan brought the straw. That's right. Corn dollies. I make them every year, don't I, Stan? That's right. What's it for? It's an old country custom. You weave straw from the last sheaf of the harvest into a shape like this, and it's supposed to mean that you'll get a good crop next year. Of course, it's probably just superstition. Uh, yes, <clears throat> just like the ghost of Tawny L. Wood. You mean... <sighs> you mean it's just a story? The ghost? Of course it is. No such thing as ghosts. But there is such a thing as cheese and pickle sandwiches. Time for tea, I think. <laughs> yes. Stumpy! Be careful! Uh, oh, sorry, Elsie. A uh, bit of an accident. You're the accident, Stumpy. Now get after my sheets and stuff. And when you've found them, you've got some washing to do. Righty. Oh, Stumpy. Thanks for the tea. And thanks for the corn, Dolly, Mrs. Turvey. <laughs> Bye. 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 I can't understand how it happened, Walter. Big Blue just ran out of diesel. Yeah. You know, I always think the fuel gauge is a help when you want to know how much you've got in the tank. I can't keep an eye on everything, Walter. I'm a very busy man. Oh, of course, Mr Jones. There. Hi, Uncle Jasper. Ah, Thomas, just in time. Your mum and dad will be here to collect you soon. Look, Mr Turvey's made you a corn dolly. A dolly? What do I want with a... You're all right, I mean, it's, that's very nice of her. We can hang it in the barn. Here. Hi, Mr. Walter. What are you Ryan doing here? Mr. Jones ran out of diesel again. The ghost, the ghost? That's what Mr. Turvey told me. It guards the tree of life in Tawny Owl. Tree of life? What's that? Oh, it's, it's this tree. It's supposed to keep you forever young. Really? You gather the leaves when they're lit by moonbeams. And they keep you young forever. Well, the thing that keeps me young is a good night's sleep. And it's about time I was off home. See ya. Bye, Stan. Tree of life, eh? People pay good money for something like that. Well, Walter, how about a moonlight expedition to Tawny Owl Wood? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll just nip back, tell Nicola I'm out for the evening, we'll go and have a look, see, eh? But you better watch out for the ghost! <laughs> <laughs> ghost? <laughs> the boy's got a point. We'd better keep our eyes peeled. Yeah. No, oh, oh, I've not found half Elsie's washing yet, and it's getting dark. Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, my foot! Stupid tree stump. Ow! Oh, 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 ah, ow! You okay, Walter? You got everything? Nice big bag for the leaves. Check. Torch. Check. Anti-ghost powder. Anti-ghost powder? Yeah. And it must be good, too. You seen any ghosts? 
<laughs> Very amusing, Walter. Now, best foot forward and let's find that tree of life. Which way now? Well, according to what Thomas told me, um, that way. <clears throat> I think. <laughs> what was that? Ah, don't do that, Mr. Jones. Did you hear it? Hear yeah, what? <laughs> That? Oh, it's just a badger or something. Come on, Mr. Jones, nothing to be scared of. Scared? Who's scared? Uh, uh, scared? There! Look over there, Walter! The Tree of Life! Oh, yeah! Aye, it does look sort of magic. Right, let's get harvesting. Ha! Aha! There it is again! It's... Aha! It's the ghost! The ghost! <laughs> <laughs> it's the ghost! It's the ghost! <laughs> which, which way? Where, where did we, we come from? What are we? Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Are you down there? Yes, of course I'm down here, and it's too deep to climb out of. Get help quickly before the ghost finds me and and oh, just help. The ghost? Oh, yeah, I, I'll go and get a rope or something, and I'll be right back. You 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 stay where you are. Stay where you are, he said. Ha! Stan, Stan, come quick. Walter, is that you? Stan, you, you got help. It's, it's Mr. Jones. He's, he's fallen down hole and, 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 and there's a ghost. Calm down. Come inside and tell me all about it. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. You've got to come and, and bring little red tractor and a rope. <laughs> a ghost? Are you sure? I saw it with my own eyes, Stan. All white and ghostly. Mr. Jones! Stan, is that you? Yes, hang on. We've come to get you out. Thank goodness the ghost could be back at any moment. Grab hold of this. Grab hold of what? Ouch! Careful! Sorry. OK, Walter. Now watch out for Mr. Jones. That's it. Keep him coming, little red tractor. Now steady. Steady. There! We've done it, Stan. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Now let's get out of here before the ghost. Oh. Ah, ah, it's back! It's back! It's, it's, it's here! Stumpy? Hello, Stan. <laughs> what are you doing here? Stumpy! Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Oh, you wouldn't believe the time I've had of it been searching all over Elsie's laundry. Stumpy toe, too. Oh, and the noises I've heard tonight. Enough to turn your hair white. <laughs> if it weren't white already, that is. <laughs> what there is of... Oh, uh, what the... What? What? Have I done something I shouldn't? Am I glad to be home? And first thing in the morning, I'll be around to stump his mill to give him a piece of my mind. Another and piece? I... I think you gave him quite enough back there in the woods. It wasn't his fault you decided to go ghost hunting in the... 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 Mr. Jones? Something the matter? Uh, it's a go... it's a go... go... a go... go... Ah! A ghost? Uh, don't think so. It's the corn dolly. And your headlights are casting a shadow on the barn wall, little red tractor. Hold on. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> oh, you. Morning, Walter. Hello, Stan. Hey, aren't you two going the wrong way? No, we've been out and about. Just popping up to check on the cows before heading home for breakfast. Right. What can I do for you? We're fine, thanks. Only stopped by to say hello. Ah, that's nice. But come on. Diesel? A little drop of oil? <laughs> well, seeing as you've got your hose out, you could top up Little Red Tractor's radiator. Aha! Uh -huh. Now you're talking! Right, Big Blue. Let's start building this new duck pond. Easy now! <laughs> Lovely! One more load should do it. Make it nice and deep for our little ducklings, hmm? 
There you go. One topped up tractor. Thanks, Walter. Now we'd better let you get on. See you. Yeah, yeah. Catch you later. Another satisfied customer, Sparky. Hey, that's odd. Um, Nidala, you haven't turned the water off, have you? Poking with your oar. That's not nice. I'll do it then. Don't, Ryan. Stumpy. Stumpy! Oh, my hat! Oh, come on, you two. Get your backs into it. We'll never reach the seaside if you don't row. I don't think we'll get to the seaside at all. There's no water. No water? Where'd the water go? It's gone, Stumpy. Dried up. Oh, um, OK. OK, uh, now, uh, uh, you just uh, sit tight and, and uh, I, I'll go for help. Sorry, girls. Didn't know you were out of water. Oh. Now, why isn't that working? I wonder if our neighbour's having water trouble. Oh, oh, it's no good. I'm stuck fast. What are we going to do now? I don't know, Amy, love. We could try walking for it. We're a lot lighter than Stumpy. N no, don't do it. What if you two sink as well? Yeah, I guess you're right. I think I've got an idea. No water here either. Now, I wonder where Mr Jones is. Let's try back at the garage. Perhaps Walter's seen him. Hold on. That sounds like Big Blue. They must be in the back field. Oh, no, why didn't I think of that? Sometimes, Stumpy, I think there's nothing under your hat. Yeah! Woohoo! Well done, kids! We'll go get some help. Go and get Mr. Jones. He's closest. And. and run! I'm still sinking! Marvellous. Strong as. Look what you've done! What? Oh, yes, we've been very busy beavering away, building our dam. <laughs> you've blocked the river. River? It was never much of a river. Besides, I've made a lovely duck pond, and it shouldn't be long before the wild ducks fly in. <coughs> Who could resist such a beautiful little pond? But you've stopped the water from flowing onto my farm. Never mind. I'll let you have some of mine. I've got loads. There's none at your farm either. <coughs> what? Oh. Now that won't do. Stan! 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 Stumpy's stuck! Sinking in the mud! The boat got stuck! The river dried up! He was getting help! Whoa! Slow down! Slow down! The river dried up! The boat got stuck in the mud! Now Stumpy stuck in the mud! And he's sinking! Oh dear! Come on, you two! Jump in the trailer! Um, Stan, you may want to hurry the dam. Uh, you see, um, not as strong as first thought. Come on, let's go. Oh, looks like we've fouled things up again. Yo, oh, qu quick, Stan! I'm sinking fast! Don't worry, Stumpy. We'll get you out of there, won't we, little red tractor? Right, grab hold of the rope when I throw it. Grab it, Stumpy! I can't! The more I move, the more I sink! I'll give it another go. Oh, this doesn't look good. And I bet if Stumpy gets washed away, it's me who will get the blame. I know! Come on, Big Blue, let's go and save the day. We will be heroes. <laughs> let's hope this works. Go on, Stan. Yeah! Wahey! You got me! Get ready, Stumpy. <sighs> 
right. I'm ready. Okay, little red tractor. We will have to be really careful here. Oh, gently, Stan. That's it, boy. Nice and slow. Oh, oh, all oh, the rope's starting to nip me. Are you starting to move yet? Uh, no, I'm starting to stretch. Oh, oh. Well done, little red tractor. <laughs> oh, safe and sound. Oh, no, my boots are gone. Well, at least you're safe. It's OK, it's OK, we are here. Right, no time to lose. We'll need a rope and... Stumpy, you don't look like you're in any danger at all. I was in great danger, but I've been saved. We all saved him. Me and Amy had to save ourselves first. Ah, so there's no one left for me to save them. Afraid not. You're a bit late. You know, what stumped me is why we got stuck in the first place. I mean, where'd the river go? Uh, Mr Jones, I think you can explain that. Um, yes, quite. Uh, well... You see, I was building a pond for the little fluffy ducklings, and, um, all I did really was, um, was block the river. Block the river? You blocked the river? What, what sort of daft thing is... It was for the ducklings. Ah. Hmm? Little duckies? Our boat's really soaked now. We'll never get to the seaside. No, not without a boat. Mr Jones, hmm? don't you have a boat? Boat? No, more like a yacht, really. It's got a mast and everything. <laughs> ah, I see. I think I've just caught your drift. Look, why don't we all drive down to the seaside and take my yacht out for the afternoon? It's not the same. Well, I could come and rescue your little boat later. What do you say? Yeah, great! Come on, Stumpy, pull your socks up. What on earth are your boots? My boots are at the bottom of that. No thanks to you. Well, we can stop in at Countryside and Water on our way and pick you up a new pair of boots. Ah, you're on. I could do with a nice relaxing afternoon sailing after all that excitement. Oh, new boots too. Did you hear that, feet? Oh, thanks, Stan. And thank you too, little red tractor. It was no problem. Oh, I'd have been a goner if it weren't for you. You two really are the best. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, little red tractor. Rise and shine. Exciting news. Veronica is due to have her calf today, so I thought we'd take a drive out to Top Acre to see how she's doing. No sign of Veronica. No, that's a good sign. Cows often wander away from the herd when they're about to have a calf. Let's have a look up the top end. Shh! Look! There she is. We mustn't disturb her. We'll pop back later and make sure she's OK. Stan, how are you then? Shh. How are you then? I'm fine. Veronica is about to have a calf. We're trying not to disturb her. Oh, oh, I see. Well, don't you worry. We won't make a sound. Thanks, Stumpy. We'll see you later. Gently now, Nipper. Let's not startle Veronica. Wow! <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones! Ah, morning, Stan. Going to chop down the old tree here. 
for a bit of firewood. Can I ask a favor? Favor? Will it cost me anything? No, it's just that Veronica is about to have a calf. I was wondering if you could keep the noise down. Not a problem. I'll be as quick as you like. Right equipment for the job, you see. Mm. Thanks. Bye. this old car would never run again. But Walter, the expert mechanic, has... has spoken too soon. Why, eh? Why do you keep doing this to me? Have I ever upset you? Have I? Hmm? Are you mooing at me? Oh, hi, Nicola. Huh? No, I was just... Uh... Yeah, broken down. How did you know? Now the car is making mooing noises. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought it was strange too. Here, can you come by and give me a tow? Yeah. Thanks, girl. Bye. That's it. It's definitely the scrapyard for you this time. And will you stop doing that? Hi, Stan. Hi there. I didn't expect to see you today. We've come to see if everything's all right with Veronica. As far as I know. It's just that we were worried. Worried? Whatever for? Well, we passed Top Acre and noticed the gate was open and we just... Open? Yeah. We thought that maybe there'd been a problem. There wasn't, but there may be now. Thanks for telling me, but I have to rush. I'll phone you later and let you know the news. I hope Veronica's OK. Stan Little Red Tractor, make sure she is. Don't worry. Stan didn't finish feeding the pigs. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> oh, no. Veronica has wandered off to be on her own. She could be anywhere. Come on, let's see if Mr Jones is still in the next field. Maybe he's seen something. Mr. Jones? Stan, any news about your calf yet? No, Veronica's gone missing. Don't suppose you've seen her, have you? No, been a bit busy. Worked quick, though, like I promised. Thanks. We'll go back up the other way. I don't suppose you're interested in buying... a few bits of firewood? I can't understand it. They were strange sounds. It's a bit like mooing. Have you seen Veronica anywhere? Your cow? Yes, somehow she got out of Top Acre. She's expecting a calf any time. I'm very worried. Cow? Oh, I'm an idiot. A cow, of course. Walter? I thought the car was making mooing noises, but it must have been... Veronica. Veronica! Which direction did the sound come from? Oh, well, uh, you see, I wasn't really listening. I, I, I thought it was the car, you see. Tell you what, Stan. I'll go this way and you check back that way. Deal. Well, what about me? What about my car? The car can wait and the garage is unmanned. Could you wander back, Dad, and I'll come back for you as soon as we've found Veronica. Thanks, Nicola. Give me a call on the mobile if you see anything. Will do. This is all your fault. Making mooing noises. <laughs> what say we check the fields? Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Veronica! Look. They look fresh. I'm sure these belong to Veronica. Come on, little red tractor. We'll follow them. Steady now. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Sorry, Stumpy. I don't suppose you've seen Veronica anywhere, have you? Uh, no, no. I've been busy fixing Nipper here. We had a bit of a ding with the gate up at Top Acre this morning. What time? Oh, I don't know. i just seen Stan and then we bumped into the... Uh-oh. Uh the gate! That's it! That's how she must have got out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think to check the gate. Come on, I'll help you look. Oh, I'm hearing mooing wherever I go now. 
Hey, just a minute. That's coming from inside the garage. Oh. Veronica? Veronica, there you are. Now, don't you worry now. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, Stan's gonna be so relieved. Whoa! Walter, it's the strangest thing. I was just about to call you. We were you. following hoof prints, but they stopped just before the I garage. I found Veronica. You won't believe you this, but... You found her. Yeah, she's round the back, sheltering in a garage. Good as gold. That is a relief. Well, what do we do now? Nothing we can do but wait. You can't hurry Mother Nature. <laughs> Shh! I haven't said anything. I only wanted some diesel. Shh! Veronica is in the bay waiting to have her calf. Yeah, sorry, but we're closed until the little one is born. Well, what am I supposed to do? You'll have to wait. I don't think it will be long now. You can't hurry Mother Nature. <laughs> oh, very well. Stan, it's all my fault. You see, I... Shh. What? You found her. Yes, she's in the garage here. About to give birth, I think. Oh, that's great news. So, what do we do now? We, we wait. wait. You, you can't, can't hurry Mother Nature. Nature. We may as well eat. I'll get some sandwiches. Sounds promising. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, about my diesel. Mm. 